There we go. Yep. That's a good fish. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's coming right back at me. Oh, that's a good red, guys. Woo! <laughs> All right. Man, look at this guy. <laughs> Woo! Hey, what's going on guys? So today's subject is gonna be all about shrimp, their migration patterns, and how that pertains to fishing. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first thing you really need to know about shrimp and before their migration patterns or anything like that is understanding that there's really kind of two different species. One, that's gonna be your brown shrimp, looks similar like this. And then the other is gonna be your white shrimp. So what's important to know about this, guys, is when these shrimp are running and what time of the year, because this definitely matters to the fish. So starting out, guys, let's go ahead and get into, you know, our current season right here around spring. That's when the brown shrimp run is happening, you know, kind of early spring all the way to maybe early summer is kind of when they start to fade out. But what's important to know is these guys, they start off in your brackish water estuaries, you know, so that's why you'll find your redfish, even trout, you know, coming into that, you you know, from that winter time frame to the spring, they'll start off in more of those brackish water areas because they're eating a lot of these shrimp. Now, what to know about brown shrimp as well is kind of their size, right? So this is probably about as big as a brown shrimp will get. But that's really good and that's really why we made the size of this lure like this because with the brown shrimp guys, there can be so many and if you guys have ever seen a brown shrimp run, there's jacks, redfish, trout, every species is trying to crush these, you know, on their way back out in their migration. So when that happens, these fish are just used to seeing a ton of, you know, shrimp just every single day, thousands and thousands of them. So what's good is having this just a little bit bigger, you know, profile size, it's going to help your your bait stand out because you know if you match the hatch exactly you're competing with thousands and thousands of other shrimp so having something a little bit bigger like this is really going to help and if you can notice too i'll get this close to the camera look at the color on that this if you put this right up next to a real brown shrimp it's almost identical i mean it looks really really good super realistic and it's got a great darting motion as well you can put these under popping corks you can throw them and bump them off the bottom put them around structure these are phenomenal lures but guys that's really what you need to know about the brown shrimp now as they start moving out you know kind of that late spring early summer time frame that's when the white shrimp are going to start to come in and we just got this new slam shady color in the power prawn that we have right here and man this is identical to one of those big shrimp now some of my favorite places to fish with these lures are going to be around your inlets closer to your sounds and stuff like that because especially in your early and mid-summer you've got that white shrimp run and those big guys will be off the beach you know they're really big just like this they're 18 20 count shrimp you know just really good in size and this is a perfect almost identical presentation you'll have your big flounder redfish trout even your drum will all go after this because a lot of times you can be throwing a paddle tail and you might not get any bites. And the reason why is all those species are currently tied into shrimp. Shrimp have a high calorie count, a lot of protein for the fish. So it's really worth it for them to go after. So during your early to midsummer, all the way into fall, really, this is exactly what I'm gonna be throwing, guys. This is a phenomenal color and it's the perfect size to get your bait and lure notice because man, these fish are looking for a good meal and this is an easy one right here. All right, guys, so let's talk about rigging really quick. So probably my favorite way to rig these shrimp lures, and you've seen it, me do it before, is kind of a weedless presentation. The reason why is because I like throwing these around grass, oysters, even docks and just, you know, rocky areas that are just tend to, you know, gonna get your bait hung up. So having a weedless presentation like this is a great way to make sure you're getting your lure in the strike zone where all those fish are and you're not getting hung up. And this hook right here, you can see, this is our new Haas Helix hook. These are phenomenal. And I really like them because they've got a pretty wide gap. So if you can see right here, look how much space that is. I mean, that's really going to make sure you get a good hookup um, and a good hook set because you've got a lot of space and a wide gap right there. Super sharp and sticky hook. This one's a 1 8 ounce. I really, really like this one because you can have it where it's going to hit the bottom and hit the structure that you want, but you can also pop it or even swim it a little bit. And a lot of times that'll entice a fish to eat it. 
All right, guys, so if you want to pick up any of these power prongs or the new Haas Helix hooks, that way you can get spring through fall covered, make sure you check out fishstrong.com. And guys, I hope these tips were helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to get back with you. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it, and we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, the exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.